Hey y'all, it's Raj with EV365 and today we're gonna try out the Last Fit Lap TK1 dual motor air compressor on the Rivian R1T. All right, y'all, here it is. The TAP TK1 air compressor by Last Fit. And for those of you that aren't familiar with Last Fit, they are a Canadian-based company that makes a bunch of uh, accessories for vehicles. And it's not just electric vehicles, but they have started to kind of focus in on electric vehicles. They've got a whole Tesla line. And you can get things like uh, mats for your vehicle, mud flaps. Um, they do focus quite a bit on overlanding and off-road type of accessories, including heavy-duty lighting and those types of things. Um, and of course, they've got these uh, air compressors, which I think are awesome. Um, and one thing you'll notice right off the bat when you take this out of the box is how nice the case is. And that kind of speaks to effectively just kind of the quality of everything that Last Fit does. When you open that up and you pull that compressor out, you will notice that this is a great looking unit. Um, it feels sturdy and it is built really well. The plastic is a nice quality feeling plastic. There's no rough edges or anything like that. Um, it's just really a quality, quality looking product. Um, and that's what I really uh, love about Last Fit's products in general. They're just built really well. And honestly, of all the EV accessories I've probably reviewed on this channel, this to me is, is one of the, the best and most well built, built ones that I've reviewed. Um, so that's the air compressor right there. And we'll just kind of go over a few of the things that come um, inside of this case. Of course, you also get the um, instruction manual, which again, it's real professional looking. Everything's written well and easy to follow. Um, it also comes with a cable or connector for you to use with your 12 volt cigarette lighter type outlet in your vehicle. Um, and of course you can use this while you're running the unit as well. So even though the last bit's got its own battery, um, which it's got a 12,000 milliampere per hour or milliampere hour battery, which will get you about uh, 20 minutes of runtime is what last bit says on the unit. Um, if that's not enough for you, you can always plug in and charge with it plugged in or even use this to charge up. And you can also charge the last bit unit using a USB-C uh, cable, which they provide that with the kit as well. Um, and then of course, you know, you would just plug that into any charging block or anything that you would normally plug a USB cable into. So it comes with those two. Um, and then of course it comes with two uh, 25, I believe they're 25.5 or 24.5 inch cables. Um, so real long, you know, not too long to where you're having to manage this huge cable, but long enough to where if you connect this on, you can get around and, and get to what you need to pretty easily. And it comes with a red one um, and a black one, both the same length. And then it comes with several connectors. So you've got your, uh, just your normal clutch connector that you can screw onto the end of one of your cables and use this on a bike or a vehicle. And with that cable, with these cables, you can also, if you've got a traditional uh, connector, you can just kind of screw it on as well. The one thing to consider if you do that, you're not gonna have a quick release. So while you're unscrewing it, you may lose some tire pressure. Um, and then it also comes with a toy valve that you can use to fill up inflatable toys, tubes, things like that, beach balls. Um, it comes with a needle uh, for you to pump up balls, uh, you know, like basketballs, football, soccer balls, things like that. And then it all, also comes with what's a Presta valve, which some bicycles and mountain bikes and things like that may have a unique connector, which is where this Presta valve comes into play. And then again, it comes with this really nice quality case. And you can just tell from the size of the unit itself and the case, this is gonna fit anywhere in your vehicle, regardless of what type of vehicle it is. Um, if you've got a frunk, you can throw it in there. For us in the Rivian, we can throw this into the gear tunnel. Um, so it's great. And you might be asking, hey, you've got a Rivian that's already got a compressor. Why do you need something like this? Um, it's always good to have a backup. Obviously the compressor on the Rivian is fantastic, but it's always great to have a backup um, and then if you're overlanding or, or if you're going camping or something with folks that don't have a Rivian, um, you may not be able to get the Rivian over to them and help them fill up their tire. So having something that's portable and can move around and can get recharged 
um, is super helpful, especially for folks that are camping, folks that are overlanding or going off-roading and things like that. Um, and as I mentioned, this has a 12,000 milliampere hour battery. Last bit says that'll get you about 20 minutes of runtime continuous, uh, which is pretty good. And according to their manual, that should at least get you to be able to fill up all four tires on a Rivian or on a large vehicle, an off-road vehicle, um, you know, if you're filling up the tires from 29 to 35 PSI. Uh, so of course, depending on your vehicle, some of that may vary. But again, if you're running out of juice, you can always plug in to your DC port or to your cigarette lighter, 12 volt, and, and get power that way. Um, but in most cases, you're probably not gonna fill up more than that. If you got a complete flat, you might be able to use this just to fill up one tire, um, but the odds of you having all four complete flats uh, probably won't be the case. Um, so yeah, that's everything that comes with the unit, and it does give you about um, 1.76 cubic feet per minute of air. So again, depending on what you're filling up, um, you do get some pretty good speeds. Uh, with a bicycle or a ball, you're gonna fill that up in seconds, obviously, um, you know, less than 30 seconds for the most part. Um, once you get to vehicles and to larger vehicles, you'll be running from a minute to three to four minutes, depending on how flat the tire is um, and how much you wanna get into there. Of course, that all is predicated by the size of the tire, the weight of the vehicle, um, and those types of variables. Um, and again, like I said, the unit's built really well, and, it, and on top of that, it's super easy to operate. When you wanna turn it on, there's a power button right here in the middle. You just keep that pressed, and you get three bars that go across and then it's ready to use. And then LastFit has some presets in here. Uh, one of them is for a truck or vehicle and um, that automatically is preset at 48 when you first get it. And it's got a range that you can use in there, but you can adjust that using the plus and minus. And then it's got a preset for motorcycles that you can use. And similar, it's got its own preset range, which you can then adjust later. And it's got all of these presets have top ends, um, but then there's a custom setting at the end where you've got full range of what the last bit can give you. Um, and then you've got a setting for motorcycles or, or for bicycles. Um, and then you've got a, a setting for balls and toys and things like that. Um, and then you've got your battery meter right there. Here is the PSI rating of what you're actually filling up is showing. So while you're pumping up, you'll see this, of course, increase. And then once it hits the PSI rating that you've got it set for, it'll cut off. It, it'll do that for the ball mode. It'll do that for the bicycle mode, the motorcycle mode, and of course the vehicle mode. Now, if you're filling up inflatable toys and things like that, it's not gonna do that. So that you're just gonna have to kind of feel it out and, and do it that way. And another great thing about the last fit uh, pump is also it can be used as emergency light, which has several settings. So obviously you've got a nice solid bright light there. You've got a blinking kind of hazard SOS light and then a faster uh, hazard SOS light. So those are the light options. And then as I mentioned earlier, you can also charge it using your USB-C port and it comes with a normal USB port, which you can use to charge your phones or any other equipment that you have that might need to charge with a USB port. And then putting the cables on, super easy. Um, the connector is just right here on the bottom of the last fit pump and it literally is a click and turn and you're locked in That's in super secure and then you can set up the last fit this way when you're pumping Obviously typically I'd recommend you lay it flat. Yeah, and all the connectors that come with the last fit are super easy to use They just screw right on screw right screw right off if you need them all four of the connectors are that way um so that's kind of the unit in general. Again, great, fantastic looking unit. Let's see what this is. You've got a little, oh yeah, you've just got a little area where you can store your connectors, which is really cool. So you can just kind of pop those in there as you need them. That connector probably you won't put in there, but you can put your needle, uh, your Presto valve, your toy valve, and that all kind of stays in there nice and safe. So yeah, now we're gonna go outside and try this out on the Rivian. Um, we flattened the Rivian tire out. Um, I'm not sure how low it is, so when we connect it, we'll figure out how low the tire is, but I got it pretty flat. Um, so we're gonna push it on a single tire and see how the last fit does. All right, y'all, so here we are by the Rivian. And what we're gonna do is I've already let some air out of the back tire. I'm not quite sure where it's at, but we know we've gotta get it filled up to 48 PSI, so we'll use the last fit to do that. Let me just pop open the little gear tunnel here. And you can see how small this little case is. So we just open that up. 
Pull out the pump, grab one of the hoses you need, drop one of the connectors. And then the hose is real easy to connect. You just pop it in, there's some grooves that fit in and you kind of turn it, it locks into place. And now what we're gonna do is connect this over to the uh, stem of the river. Daddy, can we fill this up? Oh, your beach ball's flat? Yeah. So what we'll do there is grab the toy connector. It just screws right on real easy. We'll power on the last week, we'll just hold the power button and you get three, three bars, it opens up, and on the bottom you can select the mode. So we'll just go to ball mode, and we've already got that set at six PSI, which is pretty perfect for toys and even for balls. So, and then you just hit the power button, and it'll fill up. And just hit that power button to turn it off, and you are good to go. Thank Have fun, sweetie. You. All right, and then when you're done filling up a toy, whoa, you can just take this connector off, put that back into your kit, and we'll get back to the Rivian tire here. Hey, Dad, I think my vacuum up goes quick. Can you fill it up? Oh, yeah, that definitely needs some air. So what we'll do there is get the ball connector. That just screws on, and the, the last bit connector is real easy to work with. You can just screw it on right away. And what we'll do is check on the ball see what pressure it needs to be filled up to and you'll see that usually on the stem it says six to eight psi we're good we'll fill that up to yeah six give that a little lick stick that in we're already on the ball setting from the beach ball just hit power and on a basketball it should stop automatically once it gets to where it needs to be it hit six psi Get that needle out. How's that feel? Good, thank you. Have fun. All right, and again, to take the connector off, you just kind of unscrew it. And both the last bit connector and the needle both hey, unscrew. Hey, Raj, my uh, bike tire is a little flat. Do you think you can fill it up? Let's see. Oh yeah, that is flat. Okay, so on a bike, we've just got this screw on stem, so we don't even have to add a connector. We can just screw the last bit right on. Get it into place, and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna hit the connector till we get to bike mode. This bike says you can fill up the tire up to 65 PSI. Last Fit's bike mode has a top end setting of 55, which is pretty good for us on biking, so we'll fill up to there. If you wanna go higher, there's a custom option you can use. All right, it hit 55 PSI and stop. Yeah, that feels good. And you'll lose a little air when you unscrew it, so you just want to kind of make sure you unscrew pretty quick. And you are good to go. I'll catch Thank up to you. you. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, now we're ready to fill up the Rivian. Finally, I think. That's all the family members I've got, so I think we're good. Um, so to fill up the vehicle, and what's great is you know these electric vehicles are super heavy, so this last fit is strong enough to fill them up. So we're going to set it to, we'll turn that off. We'll go to the truck mode on the last fit, and the Rivian needs to fill to 48 PSI. So we've got it set at 48. We're gonna screw that in real similar to what we did with the bike. And then you just kind of set it and forget it. And uh, the last fit does move around a little bit when it's on, so you just kind of want to be aware of that, but I'll let y'all watch that. Say that probably took us about five to six minutes uh, to get and we started at about 15 so I had it pretty low and last fit does recommend uh, that you kind of wait a little while or at least make sure it's not too hot when you're touching it yeah you can see these connectors especially over here by the pump is pretty hot the pump itself is cool to the touch so this connector is a little warm not enough to where it's gonna burn you the hose is a little hot obviously gets a little less so as you get closer to the wheel so that you can go ahead and disconnect um, 
just be cautious when you're getting um, near to the connector over by the pump itself and give that some time to cool down. So then you just unscrew that and you're good to go. All right, y'all, so that's the LAP TK1 dual motor air compressor by LastFit. And as you can see, we threw a lot at it and it was able to handle basically anything my family uh, needed it to do. And we pushed it with the Rivian. You know, we had that below 15 PSI, got it all the way up to 48, took about five to six minutes, which is what you'd expect on a compressor like this and is kind of in line with what LastFit said. They were saying about three minutes um, to go from 29 to 36. So that, you know, that, that equates out about right. Um, and we had enough juice left, about two and a half bars. It shows three every now and then, two sometimes, um, to do another tire that was kind of in that same level of a loss of air. So um, if you're kind of just dealing with normal flats, you should be able to get all four tires, or even if you're like overlanding or off-roading and things like that. Um, and then of course, if you need supplemental power, you can always plug into your vehicle and, um, and juice it and, and run it that way. Um, and again, super quality built. It comes with a two year warranty. Uh, Last Fit is based out of Canada. Their customer service um, support and everything is based out of Canada. So you're gonna get good support. Um, and it comes with a 45 day money back guarantee. So you got nothing to lose if you're kind of interested in giving it a try. Um, and Last Fit sells this for about 99 to $159. I've never actually seen it at that full price. Um, so they've always got great deals going on, obviously at their website. Um, you can find it on Amazon um, and, and other websites um, out there as well. And we'll have coupon codes and things like that in our notes. Um, and we'll regularly up, update those. So if you're ever interested in any of any of the last bit products, uh, come take a look at our, uh, our YouTube channel. Check the notes and you'll get the latest coupon codes that are out there. Uh, again, super quality built. I recommend this as a supplemental air compressor for anybody that's got a vehicle, not just electric vehicles, obviously. Anybody can use this. And of course, if you've got bikes and balls and toys and things like that that you need to fill up around the house, it's even a great tool to have around the house. So if you got any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments. I'll get them answered. Thanks for watching, guys, and hang loose, y'all.